Hello and welcome to Tech Gainers. My name is Chandra and I am a technology explorer. This is in continuation of my last video on Flowable where I talk about the REST APIs. So in this video, I will talk about how you can have your Postman collection which can expose all your Flowable capability via the REST APIs. So first of all, what you have to do is go to documentation.flowable.com slash latest slash developer so here you will find all the developer needs thing like for example for backend developers so you can check the backend guides for frontend developers frontend guides now today we are interested in the rest api documentation so we will say explore our rest api now here we have all the core swaggers okay so you can see like if you want to deal with BPMN API, you can have this uh, swagger, right? Then for DMN, CMMN, Event Registry API, External Worker, App API, Form API to deal with forms, Content API to deal with contents, right? And we have Core API as well. So today we are interested most of the time, right? Uh, like I mainly work for BPMN, so I can talk about BPMN along with DMN as well, right? Procedure of downloading the Postman collection or having the Postman collection will remain the same uh, for all of these. Okay, so let's see for BPMN. So when you click on here, you can see the uh, Swagger YAML. Okay, so all we need to do is we can either click on this URL, Flowable Swagger Process YAML. If you do this, this will be downloaded YAML file. Okay next thing what you need to do is go to your postman okay i am already having this but i'll show you how to do it okay so we can say import okay and files i'll so this is the one which is downloaded version 2 okay click on okay it will ask how you want to import your api so postman collection or open api 2.0 with postman collection let's go with postman collection import so you can see now i'm having three copies of this flowable rest api rest api copy 2 so i can delete this one i was trying before this video so that there are no hiccups okay so we can delete this one now when you expand this, you can see it is exposing all the capabilities like we have the form. So anything you want to deal with form, right? Or form data. So for example, submit task form data or get form data. You can do this activity. Okay. Next thing is history. So you can query any historic details, historic process instances, task instances or anything. So whenever your a process ends right then it moved to historic queue so you can utilize these rest apis for historic processes again when we have management so management is about your uh, batches dead letter jobs so for example if you are having a async task right after three trials it goes to dead letter jobs so you can view the uh, dead letter jobs or move a bulk of bad dead letter jobs to accept okay so this is the way we have to do it with it now we have certain query things right you can query activity instances executions historic detail task variable instances anything right you can query now a repository is where we have all the deployments models or process definition so for example we did uh, deploy any process right so all these processes definitions you can get a query from here okay now as a starter right when you try to trigger this first of all right all the parameters it will list all the parameters that's very good thing because you need not to worry or go and check the documentation okay if i can do something like this so for example you want to list the process definition where key is equal to this right so you know you have a query parameter for that now if you want to do with a key like right you don't know the exact name and you want to list down all the keys uh, uh, process definition where 
the keys like this or resource name category category like deployment id so and if you want to see only the latest process definition you can go for the latest version so you can get the latest definition if you just pass this latest as true what we can do right we can just uncheck this one so that these keys will remain as it is so whenever you want to refer we know okay with these uh, attributes we can also query okay i'll show you with uh, latest one right so i can say latest as true okay now let's hit this so what we have got is invalid url flowable rest service this one why because there's no currently flowable rest server right with this name and in fact the host name is also not there okay so why it is happening because it is using an environment variable base url now to correct this what we have to do is so for example in the my above one right what i have done is if you go and click on edit there are variables so these are postman variables so base url by default you have seen this was the variable all we have to do is replace it with whatever our server name is so for example my server is running at localhost 9090 in the previous video i have seen i have run on port 9090 now as you can see here right i'll show you here these are this was the base url so if you are using bpmn you have to use the base url process hyphen api okay so that's why we are using this as the my server path local of 1990 and slash process api is the base url so we can copy this we can go here add it variables and here we can just replace this one and save it i'll go again here the same url and let's try to run yeah so we got the our uh, application uh, all the process definition that are deployed okay so you can see hello world and leave app these are the two which were there in earlier as well now if you want to check the deployments okay list my deployments so here also again the same thing we have all the parameters so we'll uncheck them okay and let's try to run it so we can see it has given us the result right so spring boot auto deployment because we were using the spring boot uh, application so this is spring boot auto deployment happened let's talk about list process instances okay so okay so what we can do is again let's go and uncheck this quickly so here you can see right so we got the uh, process instances so for example this is the business key for hello world this process is running okay so now let's see few features so for example if we are saying include process variables and it gives you the what type of data right so a boolean was there so i am saying include process variables yes so you can see uh, i have passed two process variables name and age so it has included them as well so this is the way you can utilize uh, rest apis and experiment uh, all the features using postman collection okay i'll give you the url to download the swagger url uh, in the description of the video i hope you like the video thanks